Oh, it's at the start, bro. <laughs>
how did how how does this system work with these characters that are pretty much not meant to have that kind of mobility or utility and now they seemingly have it with system mechanics so all this is telling me is that they're equipping characters right characters got equipped right get equipped with a lot more shit everyone's gonna be scarier than ever you know get equipped with you know crazy shit for street fighter 6 which is exactly you know what i'm looking forward to considering in the future it's going to get even crazier uh lily is one with the wind hence her ability to store multiple wind clad stocks with condor wind which powers up her other condor special moves wow lily is a a chores character she's actually a chores character i didn't what the hell i did not get that impression from her at all from the trailer Wait, what? I'm confused. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Where did she cash out the chores at? Right, so there's there's one. There's like a normal one. This one's obviously really big. Huh. Oh my god. That's a good point. Wow. This T-Hawk ass forward dash. She literally even does like the, like, like she's a bird, like, you know, like this motion, like, <sighs> like the T-Hawk, like run forward. Um, fascinating. I don't really understand how, we just don't have the information, right? Like, I, we don't, I don't understand how she's cashing it out here. We, I get it that she's building it, but what is it going towards? Hmm. Possibly a juggle point? Yeah, because that's a different move. This is like either a mid or an overhead here. Something. And then you get button into Condor uh, Condor Spire. What the heck was what it was called? The straight one, the EX straight one, and it leads to a juggle point. And you'll probably get the DP thing after, stuff like that. Interesting. Really curious. You hope she's not a charge character? Um... Yeah, T-Hawk wasn't entirely a charge character. I'm trying to remember, Condor Dive, no. Condor Uppercut, whatever the hell it was called. Condor Spire. The horizontal one. I don't know if that is a thing. I don't think T-Hawk had any of that shit. No, he wasn't. He was like a grappler with like a DP. Yeah, he's rolling motions and shit. Or at least, you know, from old games. The only other game that T-Hawk has technically been in is Alpha 3 and um, blah, Street Fighter 4. This one's weird because we don't have any frame of reference outside of OG T-Hawk. And Lily is clearly playing different enough. That's a very cool super. This super animation looks amazing. This shit looks amazing. My god. And this is some shitty ass Twitter video running in uh, 240i. Uh, in, okay, right? Her Condor Spire includes more hits compared to normal in general. So that's where the juggle point comes from. This thing right here. Right? Yeah, yeah. And she's like... To be frank, this almost looks like she's special canceling it, right? Because you're doing an EX into possibly her level two. What we're not seeing is uh, anything similar to Geef, where you can do a level two into a level one, you know, something like that. Oh yeah, you're right. The super does the big suck. What did they say about her again? Hence her ability to store multiple wind clad stocks with Condor Wind, which powers up her other Condor special moves. Okay. Just essentially confirming the fact that Lily is a character that can uh, build up, you know, non-attack related uh, motions, if not specials, and then output them. So she has chores, right? You have to build up to these things to get thing, um, which is cool. Chores characters are fun. Like this isn't the ultimate chores character for anybody that doesn't know what that is, right? Uh, is like, you know, Fulgor. Fulgor is a great chores character because if you work for it, you build up his pips and by the time you get to the top, you get access to all these different things of the character. But that's not, in my opinion, the ultimate chores character. Uh, in my opinion, the absolute Omega level chores character. You would think Phoenix Wright, right? You would think some of these other characters, you'd think Jam, you'd think Jamie is a pretty good example. There's a lot of examples of that. No, uh, no. And I didn't play this character for very long, and I immediately came to the conclusion, this is the greatest chores character of all time. 
Order Soul. <laughs> Order Soul in uh, Accent Core Plus R is fucking crazy. Haas is the greatest chores character of all time. And he's, he's goddamn insane. And he's so much fun. Like, it's honestly one of the characters I want to come back to Guilty Gear the most because he is fucking ridiculous. Is Holy Order Soul. Yeah, Gohan is a good example, too. A very good example. Uh, and here's the one that obviously everyone wants to see. Cammy's hooligan combination can now be held down before being unleashed to alter the properties of her follow-up moves. So are we saying that when you go into hooligan, which is the, the jumping, you know, convert to dive kick, convert to essentially her demon flip, right? Uh, like the, the Cammy demon flip, if you wait longer and you hold it down, it, it gives you different things. So it, like from the beginning to the middle to the end, there's gonna be like different levels of stuff that you can do. Let's see. Right. 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 No. No, this is, this is not a Marvel versus Capcom game, Cammy. Excuse me. What? Okay. Uh, Reevaluating. Okay, so that's basic hooligan, right? Old school basic hooligan. You get the grab if they're if they're standing, right? Okay, but what's the difference? Does she just? Okay, it's quick. Oh, it's at the start, bro. Damn. It's at the start, bro. Uh, it's literally at the beginning, so. I thought it was during the actual motion where a hooligan is like crumpled up and moves forward and you have to choose when to let it go. It's actually not that. Um, she, you can just do a quick one if you want. She like strikes a pose. And then if you hold it down for a certain period of time, she gets different follow-ups. So she has a natural mix-up, right? Like scared, depressed type of moment. Wow, this looks great in slow motion. Holy shit. So what is this? Okay, hang on. And now what comes after? EX Spiral Arrow, right? EX Spiral Arrow, super cancel into level two. I think that makes sense. I think that's how Street Fighter VI works. Super cancel EXs into level twos uh, is a thing. And s level two, another level two, similar to Chun-Li, similar to Geef, that leads to a juggle state. And then what the hell is, is that another EX spiral arrow? It's not, bro. What is this? Is this like a regular spiral arrow now? Is it doing like a ton of damage? Yeah, charged spiral arrow? Or maybe heavy? She does like a, a step back. Huh. Yeah, she might be able to charge her, her special attacks. Yeah, it looks like she literally ducks back for a second, kind of similar to uh, this right here, you know, where she ducks back for a moment. Maybe that's going to be a gimmick of Cammy, right? Yeah, there's like a spark for the charge. Do other characters get that? That's not a thing. This isn't, this isn't Street Fighter Cross Tekken, right? That's not a thing. And that's level one, right? That is, that is level one, um... Level one basic cami super that she's had forever. So are we saying that, does this chick have four supers? Wait, what? Does this chick have four supers? Because level two, I'm assuming level two, <clears throat> level one, let's go to the trailer. A level two, a level one. Oh, oh, oh. It has different properties. Gotcha. If you land it, it's the same animation, right? If it's landed on the ground, it gives you the cinematic. Cool. Well, that's a nice little... That's a nice addition. And then that makes sense. So she, she, they change properties if you do it in the air. Oh, on, on an aerial opponent, I'm guessing?
Yeah, if you catch them juggling, it's like it's like literally a setup. Yeah, kind of like Street Fighter 4 Ken Ultra. That's a good point. Yeah, where you either get Shin Ryukin or you get full cinematic. God damn, I hated that. I hated that shit. That's just a nice little Easter egg is all it really is. Also changes the utility. I was sort of hoping that this move was going to be a counter in some way, but it is not. It is not a counter. It's similar to like what Chun-Li can do. This is a big fucking combo. Wow. Wow. And then obviously, you know, the you get the big finish. <gasps> And we're all assuming that this is not the critical art finish because we have seen, we have seen the critical art version of this and it's a little bit different. Like all, all this really did was just confirm that characters have a lot of sauce or this is one small bit of the sauce they are getting. That's gonna be scary as shit, bro. That's gonna be scary as shit because this is just one follow up, right? This thing is gonna go into how many things? She's gonna have she's gonna have like the dive kick or the like the somersault thing now. She's gonna have the grab. She's gonna have Jesus, probably like three different things off of that, and then you have the charge versions, which also will change to different things as well. And this is all without drive rush. <laughs> this guy's like, I'm gonna fucking die.